What's up guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with the weekly release in this third week of July. We're here, we're getting it. It's hot, but you know what? This summer is also sizzling with some amazing releases from all those comic books and we are here for it. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with our Indies Image, taking uh, the lead or starting off first. Uh, we have some trade paperback from Image. First off is Last Man Volume or book five. Uh, now this one, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I want to read it. It looks like a manga. It's. I love the format. I love these smaller formats like this. Uh, here's the front, spine, and the back. But yeah, I love this smaller format. It's easy to like pocket it and read it. The reason why I thought it was a manga was obviously the black and white, but it's not read the other way. And it just it looks really cool. I I'm I'm you know if you've read it or if you do. Should I pick it up like a manga? I love mangas, you know? Manga. But yeah, that one looks really cool. That's a new release. Also from Image, we got another trade paperback of Fatal by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Uh, and if you like their, I mean, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips have done so much. Uh, Killer Be Killed, Criminal, their stuff is really good. So let me know uh, if you are waiting for this one. And uh, you know, should, if you already collect the hard uh, hardcovers, you gonna get this one, or you gonna wait? Maybe you, maybe you know, you already have the, the. I think this one already comes in a hardcover. So, here's the front, spine, and the back. Very cool, and a little bit of what's inside. I have so many books coming out. I, I wanted to do a first look on this one, but I have a ton of books coming out that I got to show you. So, I might put it on the back burner, but we're we're still enjoying all these books. Nice. All right, also uh, from Image is a new hardcover. This one is Tenement, uh, and this is uh, the Bone Orchard, oh, the Born Orchard, 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 Orchid, 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 no, Born Orchard Mythos Tenement. Um, and from, okay, the Eisner Award winning creative team behind Gideon's Fall and Pr uh, Primordial. Very cool. I think that's, is it? Well, yeah, Jeff Lemire, obviously. Spine right there, in the back, and this looks kind of freaky, you know. Ugh, it's a freak. Is it a freaky book? The Born Orchard is, I think, like a horror saga story. So let me know what you think. I'm probably gonna try to do a first look on this one as well. But I have some other books that are coming out that I'm just like, oh, you know, I'll put this one on the back burner. Uh, all right, and then last but not least, from Image, we have. Port of Earth, a new oversized hardcover, uh, and let's see, set capital. Oh, this is the deluxe edition, deluxe edition, Port of Earth deluxe edition. Uh, not sure what this is about, but it's definitely sci-fi, and it looks cool. It reminds me of uh, a Descender, Ascender, stories like that. Uh, let's take a look inside together, you know? We're going to take a look inside together. So you can enjoy it. Uh, these deluxe always have some high quality paper, especially from Image, uh, and this one does not disappoint. The pages are nice and thick. As you can see, the artwork, semi gloss looks good. Uh, but yeah, no idea what this is. If you do know what it is, let me know what you think about it uh, and why you recommend it, if especially sci-fi. You know what is it about? Cool. All right. So that's it for our indies right now. From our big two, uh, we have some new releases as well from DC. We're starting off with the Superman by Kurt Busiek book one. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is a nice, well, I'll show you the front, spine, and the back. So this is a hardcover story. It's not an Omni because I have an Omni here, so I'm going to show it to you so you can see the size difference on it. It's not an Omni. Here's an Omnibus. So it is definitely shorter and, you know, not as thick. But it still is, is like, this is what I'm thinking about when, for example, the Lobo Compendium, the Nightwing Compendium, the Superman War World uh, Compendium, the, the new one, the Robin that just came out, the Compendium, is, why not just put it on a hardcover, give me a regular book like that, and just, I would, I would pay for it. Would you? I mean, this looks great. It's not a full omnibus, so you bring the cost down of that. 
Um, and I'm going to say the quality is probably going to be that matching the, the compendium style. We'll take a look right now. But this is what I'm talking about. They could have just done this for Lobo. Could have done this for Nightwing. Could have done this for the World War. But let's take a look under the dust jacket. Nice. So I'm going to show I'm going to have a first look on this one as well. So there you go. That's pretty cool. It's almost a spread, yeah. Uh, two different panels with the with the title dividing it. And then uh, quality, yeah, it feels like the quality of a, of a compendium. Which I have a compendium for Robin over here that I can look at just to kind of compare it. But yeah, let me, you know what, I'm going to grab it. I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. This is... Yeah, okay, this is what I mean. Look, this is the Robin compendium that just came out. So I, it's not this weekly release, but I have it. So as you can see, it would, that's, that difference in the size is just the, the actual uh, hardcover of it raised up a little bit. They could have easily put this into a hardcover. The quality of the pages, let me show you both of them so you can see that. It's kind of, the, it's the same semi-gloss that, that uh, they've been using for the compendiums. It's the exact same. So they could have easily done that. The edges on the, uh, you see the edges on the paper here? The frame of white, pretty much the same as the Robin. So they could have done it. That's just my two cents. Uh, let me show you a little bit of this one. And, and you know, why not? Superman by Kurt Music, book one. Maybe even an Omni. I don't know. Listen, I'm not in charge of DC. That's just my two cents. I'm being honest with you guys. I see so many books from DC that I wish would be omnibuses or even get a hardcover. So uh, I'm going on a rant. There we go. This one looks great, though. I'm definitely going to have a first look on this one, so get ready for that. Also from DC is a book that I'm actually pretty excited for. It is The Absolute Batman and Son by Grant Morrison. Here it is. Let me show that to you. Front, or I guess, yeah, you could call this the front. Spine of the dust jacket, or the slipcase, the back, and then of course the book right there, and then inside, great, no dust jacket on these, which I like, here's the front, spine, and the back, and it kind of basically tells the story of when Damien uh, jumps in as uh, Robin, when I guess, it, you know, let me, yeah, Usually that's what it, yeah, I believe the story is, yeah, yeah. When Damien first comes into play, and that's a really cool intro. Uh, I think Damien has been one of the most uprising, or, or one of the most rising star uh, characters from DC that they've taken out uh, within the last two decades. Uh, he's had his own stories, he's had major impact in some of the DC world. He's died and been brought back! Uh, you know, Batman has gone... Uh, and fought against dark side for him uh, you know he's gone he's gone all of that and he's he's had an emotional trauma I think his relationship with with Bruce is probably his most interesting aspect for me because it's somebody who's a mini Bruce but even darker because he's okay with killing and Batman has to basically rein him in instead of like the opposite with the other Robins where it's like oh you're, you're too dark Batman so it's cool to see this in an absolute format I would definitely say if you're a Batman fan and you want to complete your collection, you want to get this one. Looks great. All right, so that's it from the uh, of the big two DC. From Marvel, we have several omnibus and a book. We have uh, this Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale Captain America Gallery Edition. Now, I can't open this one. This one's going out to somebody, so I'm just going to show it to you. Here's the front. If I get more copies, I'll probably open one, but the ones that we did get are actually already set for order, so I have to just send them out. But uh, this one looks cool. I love gallery editions. They always are the best way to like showcase the art. And these are always really good. Tim Sale and Jeff Loeb have done uh, some of like the Hulk gray, uh, Spider-Man red, and uh, you know, their artwork is great. It's, it's iconic, easy to identify, love it. So check this one out. And then omnibuses from the omnibuses from Marvel. Uh, the first one we have here is the uh, Captain America by Mark Greenwald, uh, and we have this standard right here, and the DM on this side. I already did a first look on that, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm just going to show it to you what it looks like uh, for each of them, but check out the first look if you want a more in-depth uh, look into it. Front, back, and spine of the standard, 
and then of the DM, we have it right here. Let me know which cover you thought was better. Um, you know, the 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 standard has all right, but I just don't like that Wolverine is, is just like more central in, in an aspect uh, than, than, uh, than Captain America. Underneath the dust jacket, you have this like gallery lineup of the friends of Captain America right there. Very cool. And like I said, I already did the first look on that one. So, you know, people want to see sometimes the binding, so I'm going to show that to you. Maybe I didn't show it to you before, but there you go. Down there, you can see it, it's blue. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. All right, so that's the first omnibus. And then the second one that I have on here is the Spider-Man by David Michelini and Mark Bagley, which has... I would say to me one of the most recognizable uh, artworks is this one from Bagley, which is his Carnage and then Venom, and it just looks so great. Let me show you the standard right here, front, spine, and the back. Very very cool, and then of course the DM right here, front, spine, and the back. I just wish this was this was bigger. You know, it would, the artwork is so good that you, I would appreciate it if it was bigger and even it was split. But, you know, we got what we got. And uh, it, let me know what you think or which one you prefer. Uh, let me show you both of the spines together as well, right there. And then under the dust jacket. Uh, like I said, I did a first look on this one as well. So if you want to see more in depth of what comes in on that one, check out that first look. And I'll show you the binding on this one as well. Very cool. As you can see right there, ooh, it opens up as you go through the, it has the red, red uh, colored binding, which is cool. But yeah, there you go. So those are the omnibuses and releases from this week. Two pretty cool omnibuses from Marvel. Uh, DC has a absolute, which is great. And then of course, if you uh, are up to, up to date with the news on, on, uh, on, comics and all that if you've heard about the new absolute line from dc let me know what your thoughts are about that it looks very interesting um you know the the release that they showed of batman looking like a monster and wonder woman looking savage and, and superman looking like an emo guy with his hair in his face i thought it was cool you know what more comics for us the better why not and it's scott snyder leading it why not let him do his let, let him work his magic i love i love scott snyder stuff uh so yeah check out these let me know which ones you're gonna get Check out all of these that are going to price books, guys, and I will see you in the next one.